Okay, so I'm going to compare the 85 millimeter from Canon and uh, Nikon. They both have 1.2s, so I thought I'd give the uh, Canon uh, another chance. Now, I don't have the pictures exact, but I just want to show you how sharp these lenses are. Uh, the color is a little bit different, is what I'm looking at. Um, how can I say it? The uh, one on the right Nikon is a little bit more red, and the uh, Canon is a little bit more white. I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's the flower. It's in my bathroom. So I'm going to go to the next picture. And there I am in front of the mirror. So it's not exact. I switched cameras, but look at the picture quality. So I try to match the color and I think I changed it differently. But look on the flowers on the right with the Nikon Z8. And you can see a little bit more bokeh on that than on the Canon. Um, if I go to the next picture, I was a little off on the Canon, okay? So I retook this. So we'll skip this for now. But I do want to say this. Uh, the color is a little bit different, which is more pleasing. One on the right, or the one on the left. And it really doesn't matter because both looks pretty good. See, this was a hard one to do. I had a little hard time focusing. But I, I was trying to see if I was... Uh, Again, a little bit more crop than on the R5 II. That's why the color shift. But you notice that uh, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more reddish on the uh, right hand side with the Nikon compared to uh, the RF2. So, two different looks. They both look sharp but I'm liking the Canon a lot better with the colors. And see, it almost matches, but you'll notice it's just a little color tinge, a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, it looks a little bit more flaring with the 85 millimeter on the left-hand side compared to the Nikon one. And you got to remember, uh, I was in a different position. I tried to match it as best as possible. So the color and the flaring may be off a little bit. So that's why you do multiple pictures. So as you can see, it's sharper on the Canon to the left than it was on the Nikon to the right. So there's like a reddish tinge or tint going on on the Nikon. And I might have gotten this out of focus too. So see, it's more of a bluish green on the left, whereas uh, it's kind of a brighter green on the right. And actually, I think the color is in the middle <laughs> between both. But if you can see, the Canon is a little bit sharper than the uh, Nikon. And I, I'm wondering if the Canon has a little bit more crop. So there's the, uh, on the painting. Now that looks pretty sharp on the Nikon. 
So it was like hit and miss on both of them. Ah, come on. Don't want that. Don't give me any problems. And if you look at this, this almost matches. I couldn't tell you which one is sharper. It does look brighter on the uh, cannon. So you see it's a little darker tint on the uh, Nikon compared to the Canon. And they were both in program mode. Both at f1.2. So Canon is the brighter one than the Nikon. Decided to do some China. Same thing. The wood looks darker. We can go a little pixel peep in here. Okay, three there. And I can imagine just about like that. Okay, so there might be a crop on the cannon because I try to get the same position and it looks like the last three pictures there's a crop uh, with that 85 1.2 lens. And sometimes they say it's an 85 and it may not be. It may be an 84 or an 83. So you have to take that also in consideration. So one on the right looks sharper than the one on the left. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. So, there we go. Okay, let's do it again. All right, yeah, so it looks sharper on the right. I was focusing on the middle purple vase. Behind that, I was doing the glass. So that's why it's a little not clear. So on the left, I was on the purple vase, and then I forgot about it because when I did on the right, I did the middle glass in the back. So it's uh, kind of bokeh on the left-hand side with the glass, wine glasses, and it's sharp in the back with the uh, Z8. Same thing with the purple vase. So you can see what I was, uh, you know, uh, directing the uh, focus on. So it was the right cup to, uh, there it goes again, set mouse. So the wood coloring is different. Yes, I got the picture different, uh, but it, it still looks great on both. So here's the big one, the cat. So let's see which one I like better. So Z8 is what I'm zooming now. Okay, so it's not exact, but what do you think? Uh, so the focusing point, I think, is on right here for the Canon and on right here for the Nikon. They're 1.2, so they fall off. So this is still kind of sharp here, but it falls off there. And it's sharp here. That's why the head is still sharp. And there was a block on his eye. Whereas on the Nikon, it was just a, a big block. So there was a small block on the eye. So 
So that's one thing I did notice. Uh, the autofocusing is a little bit better on the uh, Canon. But uh, the red, I mean, I, I like the color of the Nikon. And they're both on landscape, but it's the way that uh, they do each other. I mean, I could have done it on neutral and natural and whatever, but uh, I decided not to. So you see, sometimes it, it's sharp, sometimes it's not. This is... And see, that's my mouse. Sorry, folks. When you're using an eye mouse, you can uh, scroll pretty easy. So let's look at the bokeh in the back. Uh, it's kind of faded. I think you can see it a little bit sharper on the uh, left. And I still think there's a little crop, even if it almost looks exact. Because I didn't even move my feet. I got the camera in the right, same position. So when I'm looking at it, it looks like it's a little brighter on the Nikon. But still, it has that kind of like a reddish tint. And I did find out that I had one on F16 where when I put the camera down, I put it back up. Oh, I think I corrected it by then. But you can see, just a little bit brighter on the cannon. And then you can see that reddish tint for the landscape on the... So landscape on both, because I like the colors. They kind of pop with the uh, green. But uh, this is more of a white. This is more of a like a purple reddish tint. Magenta, as they would say. See? The mouse. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. So it looks sharp. That's my model right there. Friends are your family, or the family that you choose. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I'm going to add it off. But you can see the difference. Yeah. So you see, it, it's more of a, a grayish. Uh, to the Canon and it's more of a reddish to the uh, Nikon. I mean it, it looks good both on the, uh, uh, the different cameras. So what do you think? Which one do you like better? you like the Nikon color landscape or do you like the uh, Canon color landscape? There's my uh, pillow. So you see, reddish tint on the Nikon. And it's uh, white, more whitish on the uh, Canon. And the colors is actually right in the middle. <laughs> so it's not as red and it's not as uh, uh, kind of like a whitish brown. It's right in the middle for both of them. So let's I try to match them as best as possible, but let's look at Psych. So like I said, uh, may not have been in the right position. So I'll do something like that. Okay. Oh, messed up. Sorry. 
back and put it something like this. Yeah, put it just like that. Okay. Over here, I'll do a, one more. That should match now. It's still, you know, it looks like there's a crop. And this is the best way to see how wide the lens can get. And they're about the same size. Just that the color is off. So which is more pleasing? The Canon on the left or the Nikon on the right? So I decided to do the remote controls. Let's see how sharp I can get these. And you can see it's a more reddish tint, so I'm not going to talk about that again. Yeah, I'll be back. So, you know, I'm not in the same position as before. But I thought this would be good. So you can see this time the clock on the RF is a little bit farther back. And you can see uh, when I took the time, because the minute hand moves, I think. So I'm liking the colors here, but if you look at it, the Canon looks sharper. And it's a smaller lens than the Nikon's in. This, this is why I'm uh, comparing the lenses, is because uh, Different tones of color. Um, Trying to think if I have an HDR on the Canon. I don't think I have. But anyhow, and I retook this shot right here. Okay, so they're the same size. I didn't move my feet. But let's do a comparison. So look at the wood grain uh, on the Canon. That's about the color. And I'm liking the yellow. So Canon, I think, is a little bit more accurate. But I did have a, a couple of problems with the Canon in the dark areas with autofocusing. And I did notice that I had on a couple at f16 so I put it at f1.2 but as you can see anything shiny it uh, misfocuses and that's the same thing I did earlier it didn't focus on that also but with the Nikon I could see that uh, it was sharp all the time just that there's a reddish tint to it this one looks a little bit bigger but you see it's sharp. So this is more of the what the, my furniture looks at, like in the guest bedroom. This is more of a reddish tint to it. Even the wall. The wall looks like that in yellow. And the, uh, but you can see there's more bokeh. So it's more of a, I might have just focused on this instead of this. I might have missed it. I noticed that with the Nikon, I have the touch and it'll take a picture. So it focuses and then when it, it's focused and it takes a picture. So it looks like on this one, I miss focus. I focus on this instead. But you can tell, this is bokeh, that's sharp. This is bokeh and that's sharp. And that should be the last pictures. So what do you think? Um, I'm going to end it right over here. In fact, I'm going to go this route.
So in this uh, slideshow, or this discussion of the 85 1.2s, uh, I changed my mind on the RF. It's a good lens. Uh, they do both bulk up pretty well. I do like the uh, color on the R5 II. So probably next time I do it with a comparison, I'll probably put it on neutral for both. But uh, it's more of a yellowish tint on the Canon, and it's more of a reddish tint on the Nikon to the right, and the actual color is right in the middle. So uh, Canon is closest to it, I guess. But uh, and I found uh, some more pictures sharper. I don't know if there's a crop. I you just have to put your feet in the same position. You have to have both cameras, and then you just pick up one, take a shot, pick up the other, take a shot, try to match it as close as possible without using a tripod. So thank you for uh, watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.